hi there folks. Sorry about the lighting in here, it's a bit how you're going. First of all I'd like to thank you for clicking on a video, which you obviously have if you're watching My Ugly Mug. Secondly, I'd like to apologise for not putting any content up for a little while. We've had, uh, well, hasn't everybody, had a, we had a lockdown to deal with. Um, we had some bad weather, I had the flu, and one weekend I just, with the depression and anxiety, sometimes it gets the better of you. Sometimes the best thing you accomplish all day is getting your backside out of bed in the first place. So anyway, that said, um, finally got to do a short video today. We're about to go out in the backyard and have a look at a new product I found. Um, when I say new product, it's new to me. Um, I literally found it by accident. My uh, wife and I were wandering through a store and um, found a few out of place camping items. And uh, I thought they'd moved all the camping gear, but it turned out it was just a few random items. But this one item was a box of pre-cut lengths of fatwood, um, already split, ready to go. And um, yeah, I thought, well, it was reasonably priced. I can't remember what the price was right now, but it was reasonable. Um, so I thought we'd give that a go. So we'll take my uh, knife and fire steel and down to the backyard to the fire pit. And we'll have a little play with it and see what we come up with. So let's go. Well, good day, folks. Here we are in the backyard near the fire pit. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about something I found quite by accident, actually, at a local shop. Now, those of you overseas, North America in particular, would know Woolworths. We have Woolworths here. It's an American company, I believe. But in Australia, we also have an offshoot of that called Big W. And I was in Big W with my wife the other day and just casually wandering through the store and spotted something that made me think they'd moved all the camping gear. When I got closer I realised it was just a few random items. Now I was surprised to find this product. I'll get that to focus. Um, now it's the sort of thing I would have thought would be in a survival store or something like that or perhaps a serious camping store I was quite surprised to find it in Big W. Now it says 100% all natural fat wood fire starter um, it says just two sticks to start two sticks of fat wood to start your fire perfect for use in fireplaces, stoves, campfires and grills. Down here it says verified by SCS Global Services, salvage wooden fibre. Now I have no idea who this people are that have verified it or what their qualification for verifying anything is. Um, yeah, again here it says only two sticks to start a fire. Red gum, which is I think only an Australian timber, I'm not sure, may require three or four sticks. Lights even when wet, we might test that theory as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, gives you instructions, which is normal, I suppose. Um, there's a whole blurb on the side about this, that and the other. So we'll have a look at it. I was talking to, in a video call with Ralph Swars from uh, Geoterics Outdoors Australia yesterday, and we were talking about this, and I said I was going to do a bit of a review on it. If you look at some of these, there was one here that was absolutely, like absolutely, look at the colour of it. I mean, it's, that is absolutely chockers with resin. Uh, now, one thing I might say, Australia has some of the, the most strict quarantine regulations when it comes to animal and plant stuff coming into the country. And I was surprised to see somewhere on here, product of Honduras. So I have no idea what sort of timber this actually is. There's even a website, tips and tricks 
and info at fatwood.com. I haven't looked at that yet, but we'll see. So I'm going to take a few shavings of this. It's nice, not super sharp, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, going all over the place. Uh, might just try and do it that way. There's a tiny little bit there. Yeah, I probably need a bit more, my aim's not that good. I really like to have my fist resting on my foot to do this, but I'm not all that flexible. spot Ugh. clearly I'm not very good with the fire steel there it goes finally so once you actually get a spark on it it ignites really quickly we might just sacrifice a piece and just have a look at how easily that lights. Well, that little splinter lit up pretty easily, but the full piece is not so much. I imagine it would, though, if you set it up in a fire situation. So I'm thinking if it was raining, to be honest, I'd be using a cigarette lighter. I wouldn't be messing around with, uh, I wouldn't be messing around with uh, fire steel. I'll just whip out the cigarette lighter immediately. <coughs> There's a fair bit of smoke on that. It's got a fair bit of resin in it. So they reckon it'll light wet as well. I doubt if it'll light wet with the, with a fire steel. Now you can even see what I'm doing there, can you? Just angle that down a bit. You didn't even see what I was doing earlier. I'm too lazy to do the video again. Anyway, I'm pretty crappy with the fire steel, but once I actually got a spark to hit it, it lit up pretty well. And, um, yeah, I'm just not sure that they will actually... I think it would light when it was wet if you had a cigarette lighter, but I don't think you get it to light with a fire steel. It um, has gone out fairly quickly, but, um, you know, you obviously would have a bit of kindling to go with it. Uh, you know, it's a good old Australian paper bark. From a tea tree or melaleuc or whatever they call it. Oh, look at that. To be perfectly honest, 
difficulties I was having trying to light this a shavings of this with a ferro rod and then because as I say I'm not very good with a ferro rod and then two strikes on a bit of paper bark and it went up in flames so can't say I'm super impressed with it to be honest anyway uh, if you want to buy some try it for yourself make your own mind up uh, whatever you think it whatever you think it's uh, you may think it's worth buying based on the results I just got then I'd stick with my paper bark because I always carry some paper bark in an Altoid tin anyway that's all for now we'll uh, catch up with you next time bye for now